okay so good evening everyone i'm happy to see you guys here and on time and um <clears throat> just like to thank you for tuning in um well so far the people who are on i know you guys know me already but for purposes of the video i'll introduce myself my name is elana alexis and i'm from Focoli. Some people may remember me as Miss Dominica 2004, but now I have grown up and in a different capacity, I am really interested in trying to help people, help my Dominican people to, um, so that we could get to a point where we can move Dominica forward. And in doing that, I believe that because of my background, I think that I'm in a position to help people to understand a lot of things that are going on. And I have finally decided to start this um, video vlog that would, um, you know, bring discussions to the forefront and get people, get people to um, discuss things in a progressive way that we will not be, you know, criticizing things that are going on, but we will be trying to make healthy suggestions and making um, healthy discussion into topics that a lot of people stay away from because you know many people say you know I don't want to be in politics or I'm not involved in such things but it involves you it's important and even if you don't want to be in the public discussing about parties politics is not just about um, political parties so um, I have decided to start doing these videos so I can discuss with people, with anybody who is interested, I could discuss topics that are usually not discussed from a really um, unbiased perspective. Because what we find is that most people who bring, um, who bring issues out into the public, um, most of the media houses or media agents whenever something comes out it is already brought out with an agenda and um, the way even in the way things are phrased they are said in a way that is already going to influence your impression of what is being said and so what I want to do is I want to look at certain things that come out and look at it with a, you know an unbiased uncolored perspective and discuss it in that way because um you know we know that our country is either you it's it's, it's like I it's either you're red or you're blue um okay I see some people are already making making comments hi Arthur <laughs> glad to see you here um thanks Elsa thanks sis Okay, so um, I see that um, there's so much that needs to be spoken about that um, sometimes things get drowned out because so much information comes out and there's, it's like we are drowned with info, data comes out like nobody's business. But the thing is, how do we sift through the data to find out what really is going on? So this is another reason why I decided to make videos. And um, one of the purposes of tonight, I want to um, introduce my page, which is the new generation of progress for Dominica. I started that page in 2014, um, but I have not been really aggressive in posting because at the time when I started it, that was during the election, election um, campaigning season. And at that same time, I was busy doing my master's thesis, so I had no time to really um, aggressively post and so on. So, and still, I started thinking, you know, the things that I want to discuss and the amount of things that I want to say, I don't want it to get lost in a long article or a long post. Because, we'll admit it, a lot of people don't read. They don't like to read. So you'll see information going out there and you'll see a whole long article and people will be commenting on it 
but you can see that they have not really read all through it. So somebody would read uh, the first few lines and then they start commenting or something like that. So I did not want to get my posts. I did not want my posts to get lost in uh, the 2017 short attention span kind of thing. So deciding to do videos was, uh, it was a long time making that decision because for some reason, some people may not believe it, but I'm sort of kind of shy. <laughs> so I was putting it off and procrastinating, but not anymore. So I've decided to come off and start, start, um, start these sorts of discussions. So the non new generation of progress is just that I wanted to start a movement of people, a movement of people with progressive minds that want to move forward, that want Dominica to move forward. A group of people who um, are beyond partisan politics. A group of people who want to change the way that our parents and our grandparents have handed down politics and development to us. You know, because our political environment, our political culture, this is the main setback in Dominica. The things that we believe politics include that is what is keeping us back and that is what the politicians are using against us in order to make themselves rich in order to make themselves powerful in order to make us powerless so we have to realize that we are the ones with the power all the power lies in the hands of the people and the sooner the, the, the sooner you realize that that is when you're going to realize that you need to demand what you need from from the people that you put there so it's not a matter of um it's not a matter of someone getting into politics to you know control you but if they get into politics and you don't control them somebody has to be in control so they are going to control us so if the people know the power that they have, if the people know the amount of power that um, they hold, they will realize that they can control whoever is in power. And we need to get rid of our party politics. It is getting outdated. Um, we need a new group of people who think, who only think about um, you know, promoting Dominica moving forward i mean um we know there are some people coming to politics for the wrong reasons and we know some people coming to politics for the right reasons but then when they get in there because of the type of system that we have because of the the characteristics of our political system people change agendas change and then we have a situation where these people are no longer trying to develop the country they're trying to either get into power or keep power and this is what we see with our government and our opposition one is trying to hold on to power and one is trying to take power we are not seeing them trying to move them forward in terms of that and i am really 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 i'm really really sure that there are some dominicans out there who have the mentality for development of the country. There are many Dominicans out there who want to come out and show that, you know, I do not agree with A or B. I am somewhere in the middle because I have not seen anybody that will satisfy the needs of the country. But what we are caught with is that some people, they are in the middle, but then, you know, you hold on to what you know because you do not want to release what you know and then you fall for worse. So some people remain in power because people just don't want to let go and risk everything. Some people stay out of power because, because people do not want, people you have not convinced anybody that you're capable of doing better than you claim that somebody else is doing. So what we find is people, most of the intelligent people are either sticking, standing in the middle without, a, a, without any bending left or right and some people are either are choosing choosing a lesser evil 
and this cannot continue. We need to stop it. We need to find a situation where Dominicans can actually make decisions based on what they see in front of them, based on, you know, I, 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 I select someone to represent me based on what they have put in front of me and promise that they will do for the country, not for me personally, but for the country. So um, there are many things that I have to discuss. And later on, I, I really, I have a list of things that I want to discuss. And um, I will be doing probably two, one or two topics every time I talk. I do not want it to be too long because I don't want to get boring. But I will probably do discussions um, maybe twice a week or once a week. Or if a lot of things are coming up, maybe I might do it more often. So um, I um, I'm looking forward to having really engaging discussions with people. And if there is anything that you may want to speak about or you may want to hear my perspective about, you can ask, you can, you can type it in the comments and um, I will get to it or I'll try to find about it. If I do not know about it, I'll research about it and then so we can um, have a, you know, a fruitful discussion about it. Um, so the Generation of Progress is just a group of people that are engaging in conversation. So when I, when I put the videos out there, when I do the live discussions, the people who engage, who, who engaged with me, the people who listen to me, the people who join in the discussion, and the people who get, um, you know, get going on the ground, trying to do what we discuss is the best thing for people to do individually, because we need to get past the point where you're waiting for government to do this and to do that. Um, there are some things that the government should not even be doing. There's no reason why the government should be, you know, <clears throat> responsible for the paving of um, the, well, potholes. And this is another topic that I want to discuss. I want to discuss also the importance of local government bodies, community development organizations, because these things should be done in the communities. You shouldn't have a prime minister having to sign off on whether somebody, um, whether they should, you know, fix a road, fix the, not, not, a, not a major road project, but like fix a little, a little section of a road in a community. No, or like around a bend, like a little, a little phallus to fix the little edge of a, a small phallus in a community. No, that should not be. It should be that the community group, there are community groups, that's why they have local government. Those local government groups should be able to come together and, dis and discuss and determine what is needed by the community. And when they, dis when they decide what is needed, they should be able to source the funds, whether it's from the government or it's from some other donor, they should be able to fund, find this funding so that they can get the project doing. I mean, there are some bodies who do, did that. There are some civil civil bodies that or groups that do it but what we need is we need more people to go around doing it the government cannot do everything for us and um yeah so many people yes karen a lot of people are not versed in politics and they do not want to be involved in politics and so they just leave it out but the best thing to do, you know, is, is even if you don't want to discuss politics, but you, you could try to find out what is it that you can do for your country. <laughs> because as we know, it is like my, my mother, my mother voted for this party. So this is what I am. I was born, I was born a freedomite. I was born a laborite. How can you be born a laborite? You can only vote at 18. How are you able to be born a laborite or, or workers? This is not possible. So just the mentality that we have in politics, that's need, that needs to change. And to be honest, it's not our grandparents are not going to change. You know, our grandparents, that old lady in the community that says she will die a liberate, she says she'll die a freedomite. That lady is not going to change. So that lady is already 
a lost cause in terms of a movement. But what we have to do is the young ones coming up, the, 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 the young people, my age group, a little older, um, younger, our children, we need, to, we need to eliminate that from our children. And right now, I think, I think it's going to become even more difficult to eliminate that thought from our children because they have, right now, it is so, it is so, I don't know how to say it. It is so um, volatile and it's, people are so, so violently, violently committed to their parties that it's like the children learn it from very young. I mean, when we were young growing up, we knew our parents voted for a party, but we were not so much into it. I mean, we would hear them talking, we would see them, you know, go into their political things. We were, to, we were not even allowed to go to those political campaigns and stuff. Now it's like children are so involved in those things that it is being instilled in them from young. So this is going to be much, much more difficult for these children to have a proper understanding of politics and government than we did, than even we did. So, and another thing about politics and government, even if you do not, you do not want to be involved in these topics, but these things affect your life. That is why they always say, you know, voting is your responsibility because if you want, you know, if you, you have to make a choice, but it's not just about making a choice. It's about, you know, trying to help doing what you can and really trying to see how you can help somebody else. Because, um, I, I like to speak with people who, sorry, I like to speak with people who have open minds. And if you, if you're really, really adamant about what, about what you believe in, it's going to be really difficult to determine, it's going to be really difficult for you to get an idea of what somebody else is telling you. Because we, if we don't have an open mind, we are going to be sticking to what we know. And sticking to what we know has not worked for us. So, I think that getting people to start thinking about Dominica instead of the party, I mean, that that is going to be a big, big job. And if we, the way it's going, we almost have no hope. <laughs> but people like me and you and many other people who are sitting there just waiting for somebody to make that move, for somebody to say, hey, we cannot just sit and not do anything. Sit and wait and say, oh, well, um, the Prime Minister is this, that, that. Lennox is this, that, that. And that is their business. That is workers' business. That is labor business. That's not their business. That's your business. Because at the end of the day, it's your country. At the end of the day, they can all take their children who were not born in Dominica and go away when the shit is the fan. But most of the people who are saying these things, they are at home and they don't even, some of them don't even have an option. So it's our business and we have to we have to be involved even if you're not the one that's going to put yourself in public life you are the one that's probably going to you know discuss things in a way that's going to support progressive thinking and um that's just what i want i just want people to be able to think about things a little differently from the way that they think about it presently and um that's what NGP is about, and I hope that I can garner more, much more support than I have been able to in the past because I have not been progressively posting. I have not been making. I have not been really hitting it because I wanted to be fully committed and ready to, you know, make do do thing do what do something like what I'm doing at the moment. Actually, putting my face out there and asking people and pleading to people to try to think about things a little differently and stop thinking about parties. Political parties cannot do it for us. No matter what party comes out there, it will be the same situation as long as we are thinking that way that we are thinking. So um, this group 
hopefully we can be discussing <laughs> plain people man <laughs> Uh, we can be discussing things that are grown up. So now that I'm a big woman, <laughs> we can be discussing things, you know, that big people discuss because at the end of the day, it's our country. And the way it is now, most of us, my age group in our 30s and people in their 40s, we have been left out. We have been left out and we are being dictated to. We have no control. You know, people like me, we go away and we study, we get degrees, and then we come back home committed and ready to roll and try to do something to help our country, you know, we're there, we're there, we're there. And then at the end of the day, nobody pays us any mind. We just have to pack our bags and leave too, you know? And that is our problem right there right in Dominica. Brain drain. No, brain drain is not just everybody living, you know? Brain drain is the living of qualified people, people that would be able to otherwise make a difference and help to bring the country forward while, you know, we have these people running away, while the people who, who well, they also want to make a contribution, but they may not be in the position or they may not have the knowledge or the qualifications or the, or the skills to do certain things, as well as others. So, in all that, I just wanted to introduce myself and my little movement. It's a small movement, but um, hopefully a lot of people will join the discussion, join the, dis the, for the, the future discussions, and we'll have a merry good time talking and thinking about our ideal Dominica and what we want to see happen and how we want to see things happen. Um, the next discussion, I already know that the next discussion we're going to speak about the budget because the Prime Minister is going to be doing the budget address on Thursday. And so probably Thursday evening we can discuss what comes out of the budget on Thursday. Um, I'm, there are some things that I'm hoping to see and I'm hoping that he actually delivers on. And um, so when we see it on Thursday, we can have more things to talk about. And another thing about my discussions is that I do not want to speak in a way that um, only people of a particular level can understand. I want to speak about things, well, although I, I don't want to bring it down to, you know, bring it down to kindergarten level, I want to speak and I want to share ideas in a way that would be very simple for anyone to understand and i think probably because i used to be a teacher that should not be so much of a problem for me um yes hi ronald <laughs> that shouldn't be a big problem for me and um so tonight i think that's almost it for tonight i don't know if anybody has any questions or any suggestions but tonight was um mainly about introducing my upcoming videos and discussions and hoping that I could um, get some ideas about what people want to speak about or what um, what sorts of topics they would like to hear about. Um, I don't know, some people may be looking and they may not really know so much of my background and um, introduce my, I introduce myself shortly, my name and so on, but my background in terms of my professional background <laughs> I started off as a teacher and um, I started off as a teacher, that was my first job. I started at the Nehemiah Comprehensive, moved on to the Google Primary School and then to the St. Martin Secondary School. And um, while at the St. Martin Secondary School, I um, decided to pursue my studies in China. I went to China for five years. I came back. When I came back, I still did some more teaching. I taught at the grammar school and then at the Pierre Child Secondary School, and that was it for me and teaching in schools. Then I started working with the Dominica Youth Business Trust, working with young people, helping them to start businesses, helping them to write business plans and so on, teaching them how to run a business and how to run a business plan. And at the same time, I had a small business development consultancy doing exactly what I did with the Youth Business Trust. Actually, I had the consultancy 
and then I moved to Dominica Youth Business Trust to do exactly what I was doing. And um, after, while I was at Dominica Youth Business Trust, I got the opportunity to go to China to do my master's in public administration. I did that, came back, and then continued my consultancy to include nonprofit organizations and government agencies as my clients, helping them to helping them to um, plan plan projects and programs, helping them to you know fix programs and projects and so on. And um, I did that, and this is basically what I've chosen to do as my career. So um, right now I am fulfilling that fulfilling those those um desires i'm an economic community and economic development consultant i work with non-profit organizations and government agencies for my last six for the last six months that i was in dominica i worked with the, with the ministry of commerce and that's basically what i did i will i helped them with the programs i helped to write i helped to write um programs projects for the ministry help them to you know improve on programs that already existed and so forth so that's basically what i do my masters is in public administration and when i tell people about public administration a lot of people don't understand what it is uh, some people probably believe it's something to do with communication or you know public publicity um it's not what it really is is um you know a lot of people know about an MBA, that's a master's in business administration. A master's in public administration is, is, is similar, but a master's in business administration, an MBA, deals with how to run, successfully run a, an, a business for profit. But a master's in public administration will teach you how to run an organization that is not for profit. And such an organization would be a government organization, a non-profit organization, a non-government, quasi-government, these sorts of organizations that are motivated not by profit, but by, by um, impact and improvement of situations that exist, improvement of the community, social problems, and so on. So um, this is the reason why I chose to work with these such organizations, because this is really what I love to do. And I've never worked with a business before. I've never worked with a business for profit. When I was young, I wanted to work at the bank. No bank would really, I, I, would, I, I would not get a job at the bank. I don't know why. So um, that really was not for me. So I really found my place working in non-profit, non-government organizations. So this is um, the background we are working with. So my background, when I speak about politics, government, and development, I'm speaking from a perspective where this is what I, this is what I know. This is where, that's where I'm strong. <laughs> so um, basically, that is about me in terms of where I'm coming from. So my opinions on things might come from that angle. And so... I am not saying that I know everything. I don't know everything. There are some things, some topics that I may not be fully informed on. There may be some things that I do not know much about, but I think that my, my, my opinion on certain things may be valid and may help people to understand some things better. So um, I think this will do it for my first video. I hope that I, um, I was able to... Um, I hope that I was able to show you that uh, my topics, what my, what the future will be, and to encourage you to to join my audience again for the next time that I air my video, which would be on Thursday evening at the same time, um, and we will be discussing some. We'll be getting right into the meat and starting to discuss the budget. So thank you and good night. Ta-ta.